Well, it has begun. Ukraine is being invaded by Russia. We're going to take a look at what's going on in the stock market, what's going on with precious metals, see how everything is responding. We'll talk a little bit about where they could go from here. And also, I'm going to unbox some silver. We got some maple leaves to kick off the monster box. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so let's head over to the computer and see what's going on. Okay, so we're going to be jumping around quite a bit. We're going to look at precious metals, crypto, stock market, oil, all that kind of stuff. Kind of get a feel for how everything's reacting to uh, Russia invading Ukraine. So this is the one-day chart for silver. You know, silver was around 24, 50 an ounce. And then last night we saw the news and a lot of people started throwing their money at silver. It went all the way up to uh, 25.56 and it's uh, it's come down since then, which is not a huge surprise. But currently it's sitting at uh, 24.84. So, you know, around $25 an ounce for silver. Obviously, there was that huge uh, flight to safety, right? A lot of people putting their money into silver. It is a precious metal. It's a safe haven asset, you know, with everything going on in the stock market, the news. It's no surprise that there was this uh, run up initially. Um, if we look at the one year chart for silver, you can see we're still not at a one year high. Uh, it was $28 an ounce back in uh, uh, May of 2021. So, you know, we'll see where silver goes from here. Let's look at gold. Now, gold, actually, if we look at the one year, we are at a one year high for gold. It's currently at 1928. Um, you know, it's going to be bouncing around. Uh, probably by the time you watch this video, it will be different. But uh, if we look at the one day for gold, we can see it acted really similarly to silver. Or I guess you could say silver probably acted the same as gold. Because, you know, typically silver follows gold. But gold went all the way up to 1972. So it was uh, almost $2,000 an ounce. And then uh, it, it came back down. So anyway, Bitcoin, I got pulled up. I uh, actually got all these cryptos up at the top red 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 uh last night was <laughs> brutal for cryptos but bitcoin uh sitting around uh around thirty six thousand dollars for one bitcoin this is the one day chart and you can see there was that huge drop um if we go to a week you can see bitcoin uh not doing great over the last week if we go out to a year uh the high for bitcoin was uh this is having it at sixty seven thousand um you know it was right around there and now it's come down considerably so almost cut in half and that was uh when was that that was back in november of 2021 so crypto is absolutely getting slaughtered at the moment uh you know are they a safe haven uh to be determined i guess very very volatile i mean you can see these price moves um you know is it is it uh, a hedge against inflation it doesn't look like it is at the moment but it is outside of the dollar, so I guess they got that going for them. Um, if we take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, this is the five-day chart, and you can see that big drop right there, um, sort of, I, I guess, right around when the market's opened. Um, it's actually down about 2% today. S&P 500 down about 1% today. Um, so, yeah, you know, stock market... Uh, there's some volatility there. Obviously, it's down. That's not really a huge surprise. If we take a look at oil, we can see price of oil has gone up. And uh, it was actually over $100 a barrel at one point. So oil price is going up. And we will talk about kind of why that's happening and, uh, you know, <laughs> where I guess where it could go. I mean, I think it could go a lot higher. Um, some of the headlines that we've seen. Uh, gold price soars as Russia invades Ukraine. Uh, this is an article today over at Kitco News. And they talk about how, you know, gold is going up. And we basically just saw that. Uh, there was another one, actually. Uh, it's the Jim Wyckoff article. Gold price soars as Russia-Ukraine now at war. 
And, uh, you know, if you want to read this article, there actually is some good bits of info in it. Uh, one thing you said right here, uh, Bitcoin, seen by some as a safe haven asset, once again sold off sharply when the going in the marketplace gets really tough. And so, you know, I think for those people that, um, you know, put a lot of money into cryptos because they were worried about inflation or where the dollar was headed, um, you know, you got to remember it's, it's not a hard asset. Uh, gold and silver, those are those uh, safe havens that people run to. Um, they're real money. You can hold them in your hand, etc. But, um, you know, I think right now with everything going on in the world, with everything going on, you know, with the uh, volatility in the stock market, the place you want to be really is precious metals. And, uh, you know, we'll see how that pans out over the next few weeks and months. Uh, but if we go to this article here, this is the one I kind of wanted to talk about. Russia, Ukraine puts 10% U.S. CPI on radar as BlackRock repeats central banks may have to live with inflation. So this was actually posted yesterday. And um, this picture here is the pipeline from Russia to Germany. And um, so obviously the oil pipeline and you know, is this invasion going to have an effect on, uh, on, on oil? Absolutely. So the first part here says the threat of a full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine is raising the risks of an energy supply shock, which some observers say could send the annual U.S. inflation rate up to 10% at some point from 7.5% as of January. Um, as we know, Ukraine is being invaded by Russia. So, you know, are we going to see 10% inflation here in the USA? Obviously, gas prices could go up significantly. Uh, I don't think this article touches on it, but I was reading some other ones that said we could see, you know, $7 for a gallon of gas. Um, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Uh, but it's not out of the question. Um, let's see. This, this little part down here says... A 10% year-over-year gain in the Consumer Price Index would be the highest since October 1981. Um, let's see. It would also come as a surprise to even some of the most sophisticated traders who are bracing for annual CPI to peak around 8% in March before drifting down to 4% next January, according to market-implied levels derived from fixings. So, you know, if inflation keeps going up uh, more than people are predicting it will, uh, this is going to be good for gold and silver. I mean, good in the sense that it would likely go higher, bad in the sense that if you're trying to buy more gold and silver, you're going to have to pay more for it. So uh, a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, let's get to the unboxing. So this package right here is from Hero Bullion, and it's actually not the first uh, Maple Leafs that I ordered for my Maple Monster Box. Um, the first order I placed was a pre-order, I guess, and so those I think just shipped. So I actually ordered this uh, after my very first order. So this is my second order of Maple Leafs, but it came first, so... Um, you know, good on you, Hero Bullion. Very fast shipping. Obviously, that's one of the things we look for in an online bullion dealer. And we'll take a look, see. Oh, yeah. Got a tube there. And another tube. Two tubes. And they are full of uh, Canadian silver maple leaves. And, uh, you know, I do want to address one uh, question that I got. I think it was in my last live stream. Someone said, hey, with everything going on in Canada, uh, are you still going to be stacking the Maple Leafs? And my response to that was basically, look, when you're stacking silver, you don't want to buy only items that you are absolutely in love with, right? If you're totally married to your whole stack, then you would never want to get rid of it. And so some of the stuff in your stack you should be willing to part with should you ever need to. And, uh, you know, hopefully I don't need to part with my stack for any reason. But if I did, these would be one of the first things to go. So I don't really have a problem with getting rid of my maples should I ever need to in the future. But, uh, wow, absolutely stupid. 
stunning. I mean, you know, even if you're not a fan of, uh, I'll just say, you know, I'm not a fan of everything going on in Canada, but um, that is a beautiful piece of silver. But anyway, I'll put that one maple leaf side up. And, uh, you know, I'm going to pull these out just because why not? There we go. First tube. I should point out these have 25 coins in them. The American Silver Eagle tubes only have 20 coins in them. So the monster box is a different shape. You know, this one here is going to be 20 tubes of 25 coins. The American Silver Eagle monster box is 25 tubes of 20 coins. Um, we got another one here. I believe these are also going to be 2022s. Wow, that one was a lot easier to open up. The one thing I don't like about these tubes is how hard they are actually to get the tops off. It's uh, kind of a challenge. I mean, you can see I'm really flexing the blade there. But uh, yeah, these are all 2022s as well. So there you go. Let's take a closer look, I guess, at that one. Very shiny. We're going to leave that tube with a maple leaf side up on the top as well. Get that snapped closed. So we got two tubes going now, which is, uh, that's 50 maple leaves. And then we got an empty tube, but let's see what we got in this package. Get this all opened up. We have a few additionals. So it looks like we just got two more. There we go. So we'll put those in the next tube. We'll have a partially filled tube at that point. That'll bring us up to 52 maple leaves. And we do have a little bit of uh, junk in there as well. Very nice. Always good to be adding some junk silver to the stack. But uh, that's going to do it for the video. I'll get those put in there. And uh, yeah, we're making a good dent on the monster box. I do have another tube coming, as I mentioned previously. So we're making good progress. I'll do another unboxing when that one comes in. But uh, let me know what you think of everything going on in the world right now. Are precious metals going to continue to go higher? You know, are we going to see them sort of level off for a while? I think uh, it will be interesting to say the least what happens with inflation. If inflation does go up a lot higher than people are predicting, then this could have a huge impact on how the Fed tries to respond, you know, with raising interest rates, how many uh, hikes they do, how fast they are, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, we'll have to wait and uh, see how it all plays out. But I'm stacking more physical precious metals. I'm protecting myself. And uh, if you want to do the same, feel free to uh, watch some of my previous videos. I've made a lot of them talking about what you should be stacking and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video. And I will see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.